After I found out that I was going to write this theme song for Granting Dreams, um, I was also told that it, I would be performing it at their annual fundraising dinner. And um, I wasn't sure at first, you know, what do I write about? This is a sensitive subject and um, you have to be respectful and it's very solemn. But at the same time, I wanted to give the song kind of a vision of hope because I truly believe that when you do die that, or when you're getting prepared to die that, you know, not all hope is lost, not all dreams are lost. And, um, you know, and exactly the thing is, it's hard for me to say because I'm not in that position and I, tr and I understand that. But I tried to put myself there and, um, you know, what would I feel if that happened? I started, you know, asking Linda, you know, what, what do you think is, are some good things to put in this song? And she said, um, well, can you express um, that there's kind of some anger? Um, I notice when some people are coming to me with their dreams, you know, I can see that they're a little bit angry with their situation, as, which is totally, obviously normal. So um, I put that in one line, um, full of anger, far from home, kind of like, um, you know, when you're finally hit with the, with that kind of like, you know, you have only a, a set amount of time to, you know, to be with your family, to do all the things that we love, you know, you feel that anger. But um, my song kind of teaches that, um, look, you know, when you dream, it's called when you dream, by the way, and, you know, when you dream, make sure you dream in a way that it's not just worldly dreams, but, you know, look beyond that. And I think the most important line of the song is, um, you are loved and you will love again. I think that's an important thing for people to know is that just because you're going to leave the world doesn't mean you're going to stop loving. And you